Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on basic electronics. In this video, we will consider a numerical on diode circuits. The task is for the diode circuit shown, determine V01 and V02. So, where are they? So, this is plus 12 volt the supply voltage. After that, I have the silicon diode, and then here I have got V01. After that, I have a resistor in series that is 4.5 kilo ohm, and I have got one more germanium diode over here, and towards the end, I have got V02. So how do I find V01 and V02? So before uh, I, uh, I find V01 and V02, let me write the simplified circuit diagram so that I can apply uh, Kirchhoff's voltage law in a much uh, better way, in an easier way. So 12 volt is always represented as something like uh, this. Yes, this is a positive, this is a negative and it will be connected to ground. This I take it as a 12 volt positive negative and here I have got the silicon diode silicon diode is uh, getting replaced with its cutting voltage of 0.7 volt so this is 0.7 this is positive this is negative and here I have uh, V01 after that I have got uh, resistor and after that there is a germanium diode I will replace germanium diode with its cutting voltage of uh, 0.3 volt we all know these things so this is connected to ground so this is positive, this is negative, uh, 0.3 volt, let me write. And here I have a V02. Yes, this is 4.5 kilo ohm, this will be positive, this will be negative. Yes, correct. So now V01 is at this point of time. So how do I find? V01 is nothing but if I want to measure uh, using the multimeter, if I give you the multimeter, how do you measure? You will keep positive end of the multimeter at this point and negative end of the multimeter at ground. Correct? So this is how I indicate uh, V01. This will be positive, this will be negative. So now apply KVL to this loop, we will get V01 very easily. Yes, what will be the value? Uh, before that I should know uh, the rule. If I'm moving from positive to negative, I'll take it as negative. If I'm moving from negative to positive, I'll take it as positive. So we should, we should, uh, we must know this uh, rule of thumb so that I can uh, apply the KVL very easily. As I'm moving from negative to positive, I'll take it as positive 12 volt, and then uh, positive to negative, I'll take it as negative 0.7 volt. Positive to negative, I'll take it as negative V01 equal to zero. Correct. That's it. So 12 minus 0.7 is nothing but 11.3 uh, equal to V01. So therefore, finally, V01 is equal to 11.3 volt. Very easily, I can find the V01. And this value is 11.3 volt. Correct? So now, I also have to find the V02. How do I find V02? So I'll consider the same circuit diagram. Again, if I give you the multimeter, what, what, how do you measure V02? You will keep one end of the multimeter over here and another end of the multimeter at the ground. It is across germanium diode very easily. This is V02. V02 is nothing but the voltage of 0.3 volt. I can simply write V02 equal to 0.3 volt. That's it. I can say it very easily which turns out to be 0.3 volt. This is how I find V02 or else I can apply KVL to this loop and I can find the V02. So if I do that what I am going to get? Negative to positive I am moving, I will take it as uh, plus 0.3 volt and here I am moving from positive to negative, I will take it as negative V02 equal to 0. Therefore V02 is going to be 0.3 volt. So whether I'll write directly or by applying KVL, I'm getting the same answer. Hence, this method must be correct and V02 is going to be 0.3 volt. Yes, now I got both the answers V01 as 11.3 volt and V02 as 0.3 volt. So this is how I find uh, two output voltages V01 and V02 in this uh, numerical. Hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section. I would definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on basic electronics. Till then, thank you everyone for watching.